What's up, guys? This is Hot Diet 7 RCT bringing you another live stream. Oh boy, it's, today is hot. It's crazy, crazy hot here in uh, sunny Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Uh, crazy mad hot, man. Uh, today I got for you guys a showcase. Uh, I have this Gaia, this, this Gaia, this Gaia 5 complete, and also Shansei Half Kidney Hero for the Switch. I'm going back to Switch streams because. Uh, as far as this week, this is the major week, this is basically E3. So yeah, we're going to have plenty to talk about uh, in the coming days. Already Electronic Arts hit their stride with their uh, presentation, their uh, press conference. So as the week goes by, what I'm going to be trying to do is, uh, is basically grab as much of the conferences as possible so I can kind of make like a little... Uh, Basically, a little uh, review or overview of the E3 during this week. Now, on uh, Monday, I believe today is going to be a Microsoft show, probably an hour or so after I finish doing the stream. So, I'm going to be on point with that. Also, uh, Monday is going to be, I think, Sony's turn, and then Tuesday is going to be Nintendo's turn. So, you guys know that I'm going to be on top of that to see what new games we're going to be having for the rest of the year and probably part of. Uh, 2018 as well. There are heavy rumors of possibly uh, Sony Portable in the same vein of the Switch. I find it highly uh, unlikely, but it wouldn't surprise me because Sony is not the first time Sony copies something from uh, a successful formula already proven. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I want to see if I'm going to be convinced as a PC gamer. To invest on the Scorpio, which is another thing that I'm highly interested in and seeing. And of course, my God, I hope that they announce two things, at least on the Nintendo side of things, and it's uh, the possibility of a new Castlevania and a new Metro. That's two of the franchises that I most want to see on the Switch, and hopefully it'll happen soon. But without further ado, let's go in, let's change here and then bring down the music. Alright, let's bring that out of the way and let's focus here on the games that I have uh, to showcase for you guys today. This Gaia, this, this Gaia, whatever, however you can pronounce that, this Gaia 5 Complete is basically uh, a fully loaded uh, previous release that came out for the PlayStation 4. I don't know if it came out for Xbox One, I highly doubt it, but it came out for the PlayStation 4 last year and this one is basically the same game. Same graphics, nothing cut down, everything is there um, from the graphics and sound and everything, plus all the DLC, and believe me, it's a lot of DLC, all together in a nice little package in a small little cartridge for the Switch. The other one, of course, is uh, Shantae Half Genie Hero, which is a, let's say, indie game from way forward, a uh, really nice platforming game, uh, awesome music and graphics, as you're going to be seeing very shortly so yeah let's go into the gameplay screen here and wake up the switch which is kind of muted there since I left it of course I still need to cover a little bit of the I've been I've been bitten by the fighting bug as of late because all right, after so in the house. Yeah, Shantae. Shantae is going to be coming up really, really soon in a few minutes. I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Uh, since this is a showcase, it's not really uh, a let's play or anything like that. I just gonna, I'm just i just going to showcase the gameplay mechanics and graphics and stuff of each game. Uh, hopefully, in the, in the hour time, I will have enough time to cover both of them. Even uh, at least a little bit. I wanted to go here... There's several games that I still haven't done for you guys, like Thumper. Uh, there's uh, Last Resort, uh, one of the recent shooters for Neo Geo. Um, the new stuff that's coming out, that has come out during the past few weeks in uh, Blaster Master Zero as DLC. A new update for Playgrounds, and of course, Ultra Street Fighter 2, which is awesome. So yeah, I'll be covering a little bit more of that. 
for those who've asked me to showcase what I have so far this is basically what I have as far as switch games and I believe this is going to grow exponentially in the next few months as new releases start trickling out hopefully in E3 we'll be able to see a lot more so yeah without further ado let's start off things with this Gaia 5 this Gaia this Gaia this Gaia this Gaia whatever I, I can't get that name right but I think it's this Gaia 5 complete so let's go for it guys Now remember, for some reason now, even though I, I'm still not verified on uh, VidMe, for some reason I, it's allowing me to upload, it allowed me to upload the Tekken stream, so I'm going to try uploading this as well. So if you don't want to go through YouTube, you want better quality Nippon video, Nichi Software presents. I recommend you go to VidMe, in case you missed the stream, of course. Love the soundtrack on this. Take a wild guess why I love it so much. What's up, Kido Cats? Rafi and Bahiro. Love it. Of course, I have a little something something here to help me with the heat. I'm gonna allow the, the intro video because it's really cool and it'll give you an idea of the type of characters that you're gonna be seeing here in this game. Yep, that will opera, you got it right. How's the sound doing guys over there on your side? Can you hear it or is it too low, too loud? Let me know because I can crank things up. Now this guy's, this right here, don't don't let the cutesy uh, super deformed aesthetics of the game fool you. This is an amazing and deep as hell game. Easily you can pour into over 200 hours into this game and still not cover everything. That's how deep it is. The style of the game is Final Fantasy Tactics through and through with uh, anime you know, uh, art style and sound, but the thing is that they take the Final Fantasy formula, I mean, full-blown, you know, Super Saiyan levels, you know, you, it's so many classes and, and weapons and stuff and powers that you can do, it's like they take every single RPG, whatever you can do in all of those RPGs and just throw them in there, and they let you loose, they, they, they tell you, you want to do this, go on ahead and do this, grind some more here and do this, it's... Sometimes it's a little overwhelming, but I appreciate that in a Switch game because hey, we have Zelda, which is a massive game, and now we have this one. So in terms of RPGs, I think we are pretty covered for now in the first few months of the Switch. I'm gonna take I'm not even gonna start from the beginning because it's way too much story and dialogue to go through. So I'm just gonna take one of my uh, recent, the most recent file that I have here just show you guys the awesomeness that is this guy of five now, like I said you move around you have the super deformed ish kind of uh, this is the central hub this is a dimensional portal or something a dimensional gate or hub that's uh, that belongs to this lady right here, Serafina, which is basically, she is an overlord. Here in the story, in the, in the game, there are overlords that are fighting each other for territory. 
they're trying to, they have a power struggle, and they try to, they have this massive overlord who's trying to take over most of the different dimensions. And uh, Seraphina is one of the, the overlords from the gorgeous dimension, something like that. She's a diva, she's a, uh, a drama queen, you know, all of the stereotypes this girl has. She believes that anybody and everybody should fall under her beauty spell and everybody's gonna fall in love with her, etc, etc. But really, really funny stuff. It builds on the different tropes of uh, stereotypes and stuff in anime. Now, if you go around here, you meet, like, you have Item World, which is basically a hub where you can go and actually go inside different items. Here are the items that you that you manage to get. Hey, what's up, bad luck? The different items that you manage to get. And here in this game, you don't simply buy an item, equip an item, or even upgrade an item. In here, you actually go inside the item and fight like a level in order to upgrade that item. So it adds a little more dimension. This is still not available to me, but at least I know how the mechanics work. Now, if we go down here, where is the uh, extra content? Uh, okay, special content. This is the DLC that's available. Now, look at my user interface right here, and you see the name of the character, you see the class, you see the hit points, the special points, the level, attack defense, everything that you're already used to seeing in an RPG, especially a strategy RPG. Now, you, ha you, ha you see the resistance there? If you go into the characters, there is so much stuff to do here. I only have 15 characters, but it, the game allows for you to have over a hundred. A hundred! A list of a hundred that you have to take care of, and basically you decide how you want to use them. Now the main character, Killia, right? You see you have everything, like the weapon, uh, what kind of weapon is better for him. Uh, different kind of items and stuff it's it's massive guys this game is as you can see weapon mastery like in his case he uses hand-to-hand -hand combat so anything that's glove related he's gonna be it's gonna be better for him now you see the list in the weapon mastery you see that uh, as far as, as uh, melee combat and sword combat it's eight a level in terms of grade that means that's the best one available to him but he can use other stuff as well as you can see by the grading system B C uh, there's some of them that he cannot use but you have options you are not limited only to the style of that of that character which is good now as you can see here you can basically model and name as you can see here I named the uh, one of my uh, wizards, uh, Chris, and uh, a ninja, uh, Christy, and I even got a red mage here with uh, the name Granda, Rafi. I know you're gonna laugh. So yeah, you can name a whole bunch of characters and stuff. Now, in terms of the special content, check it out, guys. This is all the DLC that comes with the game. Out of the box, you don't need to connect, uh, download online or anything. It comes here in the cartridge. Just take a quick look. There's different scenarios from other Disgaea games, as Disgaea uh, 3 and 4, 2, all the way down to the first one. A crap ton of uh, characters. And even... There's even the Gift of Hell, which is $3 million uh, dollars in currency from the game. I, I don't want to use it yet, because uh, I want to use whatever I get. No, it actually is $1 million. One million. One million HL, they call Hell, or HL, the currency here in the game. So, that's $1 million that I don't want to use yet, because I, wanna, I don't want the game to become too easy. So that's all of the downloaded content that I'm able to play with or mess around with once I'm finished with the game. Now if you want to add more characters... For the world! For the people! A heroine dashes into action! Welcome! 
I'm not gonna go through each and every one of them because it's gonna take like probably an hour or more just to go through the, the different options and shops and stuff that you have available. But look at the different types of weaponry that's available. And from here you can upgrade, you can add different items to those and, and kind of fuse them to make even better weapons. Now if you want to hire, you have the skill shop, item shop. Here I come! That you go to hide. Leave it to the Supreme One! What do you want? Let me see if I find Recruiter. Okay, right here. Here, basically, you can basically uh, recruit any kind of. Um, Thanks! Job skill or, or, you know, more characters that have different classes and stuff so you can bolster your, your lineup of uh, fighters. Got warrior, Valkyrie, Magician, Witch, Martial Artist, and so on and so forth. In total, I've heard that you have around 40 classes, different job styles, so there's a lot to go into here. Now, for some reason, you see, you get to see basically that this was, uh, is a PlayStation 4 game because it actually has a little trophy uh, character. They didn't take that out for some reason. And here you get to check the trophies. And it even has the same layout as the PlayStation 4, the bronze, silver, and uh, gold and platinum uh, trophies. So I guess, they figured, you know, it's not really gonna do any harm to have them, so why why cut a, cut it? But this is basically the whole thing, the whole system on Sony's platform, and they left it in as is. So I thought I find I find that kind of curious, being that it's on, on a Nintendo system now. So when you're ready to go and leave the hub want to get some interaction and, and start leveling up characters and moving the story along, all you have to do is come to the dimension guide. Where would you like to go, dude? Where you choose whatever paths of, are available for you guys. Now the blood part is the first one that you'll find. Legend begins, it kind of moves the story along, and the sea tournament is part of a uh, download content that uh, in order for you to use the character uh, Axel, you need to uh, go through these scenarios first and beat these scenarios in order to get them. I already did it. I'm just going to take one of the, the scenes from Blood, Blood Parch. They're basically the same because these are more along the line of tutorials and stuff. So I'm just going to enter here real quick to give you guys an idea of how the gameplay works. As you can see, it has a Final Fantasy tactic style, three quarters perspective. With the L and R, you can move around, just like you're used to in Final Fantasy Texas. And also, you have different levels of zoom by holding the Y button and pressing the L and R button, or the R button get different uh, views if you want to see like the real uh, animations and stuff you just leave it in zoomed in and then you choose now where it differs from different uh, strategy RPGs is the fact that you have something that's very particular to this Gaia uh, franchise is the jump uh, not the jump the lift and throw mechanics which I'm gonna show you right now let's say I have my main let's character go and I tell it to move. These are the spots where I can move, right? 
Well, I can actually extend that by using the lift and throw uh, mechanics because let's say I just move right here to this spot. I just go and get grab another character, let's say Serafina, and I'll move her right next to my main character. From there, I can choose lift and it's going to be able to lift physically that character and from there I can actually throw the character extending the range of where the character can move. Now the cool thing about this is that you can actually link together with as many characters as you want. I haven't tried to see if it has a limitation or not. Let's say I get this character here, I lift them up, and I keep the chain going until I have what I think is enough distance covered to be able to reach where I want to. Now, this only works with human uh, characters, uh, not monsters, but it is, it is really cool and it's uh, another layer of strategy added for you to, you know, plan ahead whatever missions you want to, you know, do. So here, as you can see, I have this whole tower of people and I can start throwing them around. Say I throw this group right here. Boom. Here I come. And then from here, I keep throwing. As you can see, I extend the range before I couldn't get there. And I keep it up. Now, once you activate whatever you're trying to do with the character, you're able to keep working with the other characters. You don't have to immediately set the action to go, but if you want to individually do it, all you have to do is just mark the character and execute, and it'll do it instantly. If you want to micromanage and do everybody like one at a time, but of course, it's it's cool that you have the option of not doing it um, in real time because you can plan strategies where you can team up the characters and do like special, more advanced moves, like team up and, and stuff like that. Let's bring Don't get super reckless. This dude up here. Let's fight a cactus. This character right here, Metalia, I think she's from one of the, this guy, I don't know if it's three or four. She is way OP. She is overpowered to the max. She is, I, 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 after I got her, I just keep her in the back and not use her because it's going to make the game easier. Uh, she has here already ready the overload, overload, uh, overload power. So let's activate it. Okay. Now as you see there in the left hand corner you have uh, revenge or the R, red R meter. Basically when you fill that up 
you go into a kind of like revenge mode where you can do these super powerful moves. They vary from character and the job classes. You know, it could be a special attack, it could be a capturing moves like hers. They have such a wide range of different things that you can do. Yep. Exactly. Better graphics, better sound, and a lot of voice acting. I'm really, really surprised of the amount of voice acting that's that's in here. Even if uh, it's uh, just you know snippets and stuff like that. So let's do a special here. Metal Justice. Oh, I haven't tried this one. This one only has one square range, so I'm not gonna be able to use it. But I still can move. Okay. Ah, but I can't move over to the, to the penguin. Right. Okay, so what I'll do, instead of moving her, I'll get another character to move her for me. Taste my justice! Yeah, I'll get Adele. So lift her up. Throw her towards the little penguin. Now here, I'll do the special attack. Metal Justice. I don't know what this is because I haven't tried it out yet. Let's execute. Holy crap! Did she say shit? <laughs> it sounded like shit. It sounded like she said, you little shit. I don't know. Maybe that's the beer talking. Whatever it was, it sounds cool. <coughs> Cheers, guys. The beer that I got with the pizza yesterday. Oh, my God. Really good. Good, good, good. And the vaping kit. So let's finish this uh, scenario here, so we can start going into uh, Shantae. Because like I said, this is a extremely big, huge game. How's this? So trying to cover everything that the game offers is almost impossible in just one setting, much less a 30 minute setting. So, What I can say is, out of the games that are available for the Switch, this one goes highly recommended. I'll show you a heroine's best. This right here, uh, Nissa. Nissa is actually a created uh, character. As you can see, it has the first three letters in her name, Niss. That's the company that made the game. So this is basically one of their custom characters that you can get only through DLC. And it's part of the, the content, the available content, extra content here. And it's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. As you can see, she has a very large, large range of movement. And her attacks are amazing. To protect game industry. Oh, now I still don't have any use. Oh no, I can't. I can't use triple strike. Can I use triple strike? Nope. Has to be closer. So I need, in order to use him, I need to have a character throw. Let's move. Characters that I have here, Rosen. Oh, I can't use Rosen. Alright, so all the ones I have left here is Axel. Nope, this one doesn't have the range. So I'm 
guess. I guess I'm gonna have to defend. And this one I have to defend as well. And just end the turn. What's up, dude? What is it? that check out the art <laughs> now depending on your grading and how you do in your you know in your stage or whatever you'll get from a bonus list you'll get depending on how well you did and ranking from the bottom which is basically the easiest items that you can get or weapons all the way up to nine which is basically like the, the, the best equipment that you can actually get, but you need to have a very high score in order to get it. And it only comes around one time. Once you get it, you can't get it again. It gives you the MVP of the stage, who made more experience, so you know, you can that way balance out and see which uh, characters are leveling up the way you want them to. Dude, yeah, that's, a, that's an ongoing joke with this game and the dudes like every time anybody talks about the game is always dude dude because those penguins are always going on about that so yeah so far what i have available in my six hours of playing are these stages right here these are the tutorials like i mentioned we have this one which uh kind of moves the story along the way it's supposed to and it's very very deep plenty of hours there and this one that was part of the DLC scenario where you can get you get a chance to actually fight in a scenario in order to have the right to use a character. So it's not like given to you right away. You need to like go through a certain story element, which is cool, and then after you beat it, you, you're able to use the character, which this one is the one that I had to beat in order to get um, Axel, the one that you saw there that I used. So yeah, that's uh, basically in a nutshell, this Gaia 5 complete. There's certain things that I haven't unlocked yet, like the item world that I told you about. Um, plenty of special content, the hospital, where you come here and heal yourself. You have to pay for it, of course. Uh, Innocence, which is another layer of strategy that I'm not gonna go into right now because it's gonna take me way too long but again guys this is a really really cool uh, strategy RPG I can't speak highly uh, enough I mean more than I have already I basically I gushed over the the fact that it was being announced for for the switch and I waited until it came out and I haven't I haven't regret the purchase. It's it's amazing. But I know I'm still gonna have even months down the line. I'm still gonna have plenty of gameplay to get out of this game. So it's worth the money. So let's step out of this Gaia Five and go into Shante. Afro so here we go. Shantae! Ask Jimmy Kira. Right off the bat, it gives you an option. Once you choose the user, and choose the controller you're gonna use. Got three files to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and do a new game. It gives you the option to play normal or play hardcore, like really difficult. I already tried this one, and basically it's kind of like two hits or three, and you're already dead. 
So for most of the people, I recommend you go to the regular Shantae and then once you start getting a feel of the game, you can probably move over to this one. The cool thing is that it, it doesn't limit you in um, actually playing the whole game like that. If you want to try it out normal, get a feel for it and then halfway through the game you want to change it to hardcore, you're, you know, the game allows you to do it. So. Yes, Rafi, el jueguito te va a gustar un montón. Yo sé que a William le va a gustar mucho también. Eh, obviamente, Afro so va a quedar loca y sin idea. Check it out. Beautiful, beautiful art style. Uh, just like Wonder Boy, the Wonder Boy art style is amazing as well. I'm kind of impressed with the quality of the soundtrack too. Because for it to be like an indie game, it has really, really nice soundtrack. course at this point you still don't have any weapons or any attacks or anything like that so in order not to get hit or fight these uh, enemies you need to lead them to the, to the fire Hey, what's up? Rip eyes. Tranquilo, papá, tranquilo. Bienvenido. Llegaste en buen momento porque este te va a interesar bastante. From what I can tell here, Shante gets into the position of acquiring some powers and stuff that she doesn't understand as a genie, and she has to fight something that's called the darkness. So right here you get the first option to save the game, and then you go into the central hub.
So here is your first taste of the, the game uh, inside of a town. As uh, the standard animation for Shantae is that dance, but you have this is the dance I was talking about, Afroso. <laughs> Right now it does absolutely nothing but look cool and sound cool, but yeah, that's the one I want you to do. <laughs> oh shit. So yeah, her attack, her main attack, oh my god, is uh, the hair. And she has a jumping animation, and she can go... Crawl around. That's the safe dude. <laughs> At least you caught it, bad luck. She stayed quiet, she's not saying anything. Okay, visit the item shop if you wanna enjoy customizing your abilities. It looks nice. This is uh from what I can tell, I'm not sure yet, but I think there's there's been a couple of Shantae games. I think this is the first one that actually came out to be HD. You know, because the rest were uh, on 3DS and, and those kind of platforms. So this is the first time that WayForward has been able to make it with HD assets, so it's, it's kind of cool. So workshop. Part first uh, kind of a assignment. Check what that check what the little boy says. Check it out. Are you a Medusa? Mom always tells me to avert my eyes when you walk by. <laughs> That's messed up. Guys, Hatcher, you were gonna go there later. I don't have to go there now. Bath house. Yeah, I'm gonna need the receipt from the bath house. So I go to the bath house first. See this dude who is just staring at the girl across from the pool. And he's just there like a. Oh, well, you'll see. Basically, this is what I need, the sales slip, in order to get the item that the uncle needs for his contraption. Yeah. Esa es la musiquita que, que le tienen puesto a Bolo. Because Bolo is kind of like staring intensely to the girl. So let's get out of here. And now we go... Hey, I haven't spoken to this lady. Okay, so screen. Me, I'm a guard. Yeah, that's, a, that's really impressive.
Now we got elevator music. But believe me, what, this is just here. Wait till we get to the main hub. Um, not the main hub, the, the main stage when we start at the actual action. You're gonna hear the, the soundtrack on that. It's really, really good. High quality stuff. Sky Hatchery, nope. We gotta go back to Uncle. of music here but that's that's what I'm saying that's the whole point I mean for it to be such a small cartridge you know and the whole argument about CD and blu-rays and all this media and stuff all of that nice music is put in a small cartridge like this you know smaller than the DS cartridge so that I'm sorry uh, to the haters and the detractors out there that's to me that's pretty impressive we're not dealing with Nintendo 64 anymore, guys. This is some high-tech shit. But anyways, let's go back to it. I'm sorry if I'm not giving you guys enough time to read. I'm trying to move it along to get into the action. To be honest, bad luck. I have no idea. I know that there's there's some other games uh, from Shantae, but they have different subtitles. There's one that's uh, Shantae and the Pirates or something like that, and uh, there's even another one aside from that one. I have no idea. I think this one, to me, this is kind of like uh, if it's not a prequel, it's actually like the first game because she gets her powers here, like for the first time, so I'm figuring this must be like the first one, but done in HD. I don't have that information. Don't don't quote me on that because I'm just, you know, off of the top of my head and right now I have some Hennigan in it and, and I, I'm not sure if it's straight, so. Don't take it as a fact yet. there and they took the blueprints ray and they they just stood there looking like idiots while the guy took the blueprints I, I can't believe it and now the action begins yes terror war death Go to Sky Hatchery, but before we go, let's move those hips side to side. Yeah, now we can go. There's a sense of urgency, there's fire everywhere, but before we go, oh yeah, still don't know what the hell that's for. What purpose does it serve? But it's so cool. <laughs> Sky Hatchery it is. Let's go. All right. And her name is Wrench. Okay. I'm not gonna go into depth of, you know, the naming conventions of this game, but everything else is really, really cool. Alright, so this is the method of travel between worlds, I'm guessing. So 
here we get to choose for the first time. We can't go here yet. We gotta go to Main Street. And again, we get the option to save the game. It's already considerate, so we don't have to go through all of that again. Get a little tutorial of how the uh, options screen work. What's up, Anthony? Welcome, buddy. Nice of you to make it. You dropped in basically where the action is uh, starting with Chante. Uh, you weren't here for the for this this Gaia, but you can check it out later on YouTube or VidMe. Hopefully, I won't have an issue uploading it there since I already uploaded the second one without any issues. So I think I'm gonna be uploading a lot more to VidMe now. Ah. Grab all the money that I can get. Ah. If I would have been playing the hardcore one, I would have been dead already. Because I already tried that one. That was the first one I tried. Fearing that it was going to be a little too easy. Which, to be honest, you know. If you're used to platforming and stuff, you'll probably find it a little bit easy. But for the purpose of the stream, I think it's appropriate to use this one for now. Oh no! Yeah, the beer is already starting to work its effect on my hand. I the hand co coordination, so. The platform disappears. It's not a science. There you go. But it's okay. It doesn't really matter if you get hurt or not because in the end, we all always have this to go back to. Okay, let's go back to the action. Ah, fire. Money, money! Bad muck? Am I reading that correctly, Anthony? Bad muck? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, I'm getting hurt with fire! Fire! Has that nice Mega Man feel, Mega Man X feel to it. <laughs> uh, 
a sidekick, huh? Okay, guys, hold on, one more time. Oh yeah, move those hips. I'm hoping that very soon I'll find out what the hell that's for. Because right now it's not serving any purpose. Because I can't do it and kind of like move. Because I can't move. It's just there. It freezes everything. And that's about it. Oh god, I almost had it. Do not drink beer and play this game. But William, I hope you like it, man. If you're still around. Because I know you like platformers. I know Afro Soul is liking it, but Afro Soul just went quiet after I said what I said. <laughs> I wonder why. Afrozo. I just want to hit a boss, reach a, a boss level or something. Oh! Ooh, I like the music on this one. See more elements of uh, kind of like Mega Man with uh, with uh, disappearing platforms. I love it. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but oh no! I jumped on the wrong, wrong side. Little dunk. Little oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I have to go all the way back. Something here. How do I access that without falling like an idiot? I have no idea. And I did fall like an idiot. All the way down again. Jeez. Okay, okay. Come on. Afro so you came back. How nice of you. Okay. Somebody up there. Oh, and I'm dying. Gotta get serious. Time is running out. I'm gonna keep moving this way. I don't wanna fall again. 
What's this little... Oh, open blocks. A la Castlevania. There was a character up there, but I'm not gonna risk falling down again. I'm sorry. the heart. No! Ha! Some more platforms. Great. On. Okay, so I need to. Uh, I need to be on the second one before, like as soon as it comes out. Bam, bam, and another jump. It has to be really quick. Oh, move it. Move it, move it, move it. He's dying. I need a heart. I need a heart. There you go. And another one. Awesome. Dance! That's right, Kiddo Cat. You can always stop and indulge in the dancing. Oh, yeah. Shake it, baby. Shake it. There you go. Okay. No! The fire! All-consuming fire! Alright, Anthony. Thanks a lot. But it's actually not me. I'm not moving the hips. It's Shante. She's a bodacious babe. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to get trapped here. I got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Move, 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 move. And thank you. Yes, I, I please. I want to save. Thank you very much. All of the pirates are Tinkerbats. Holy crap, what the hell is that? That was it, Risky Boots. There you go, again with the naming conventions, oh my god. Risky Boots! That's the, the, that's the one, Risky Boots, there she goes. And she is, uh, yeah, queen of the seven seas. The blueprints. And now the music sounds like 80s detective series or something like that right wow uh, uh, this soundtrack is amazing man come on boss fight boss fight yep Something along those lines, Afrozo. Poop too. Ah, oh, oh come on. Poop too. All right. Let's fight. Tinker Slug. Don't call it poop too. Ooh, I'm liking the music. Where do I hit it? What? That's it? That's it? Okay, at least I saved before the fight, so I'll be able to go in. There you go. Move it, baby. Move it. 
I'm not gonna read that whole thing again. So let's go and fight. Now there's a bell, which looks kind of suspicious right here. Let's do a Donkey Kong thing here. Oh my god, I'm already dead! What the hell? Second continue. Okay, thank god I didn't use a hardcore one. I'm guessing you have to throw those explosive barrels at it. I don't want to read that thing again. Thank you very much. But those fire things, damn it. There you go. Okay, move, move. Oh, these chains are starting to get a, be a pain in the ass. Chains. What the hell? Holy crap. Okay, one more try, guys. Navigating through the chains is a bit of a pain in the ass. And look at that! Only one of those bombs will basically one hit kill you. That's what's killing me. Holy shit. Yep. Oh shit, bad luck. <laughs> you got you got um ravaged by the night bot. Don't take it personal. It just you know night bot tends to be a dick. <laughs> Last time around it was Afro Ah, see. Vamos a ver. I need to avoid those fucking bombs, though. No, I don't want to read. Now, do I have a full meter? No, I don't. I only have half a heart. What the hell am I going to fight with this? I only have half a heart. I won't be able to fight like this. Now let's see if I quit. Does it give me full health if I go back? Shantae. Let's see. Let's take the second file. Load it up. Because you see that the thing is that it's leaving me not with full health. It's leaving me with just half a heart. So no wonder the bomb is, is messing me up. Let's see. Full health now, or is it the same crap? Half a heart. I'm, I'm messed up. That's it. I guess I'm going to have to save and come back with... There you go. Oh, no, no. Come on, these chains are a pain in the ass. Come on, get on the chain. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You know, Padron, the problem is the chains. The chains are kind of hard to na navigate. But again, it's cool. It's an awesome game. The thing is that I, when I got to the point where I got to save, I just got uh, to save with only half heart. So if I want to get to that part with the full level or the full bar of health, I'm going to have to do that part over again and, and get it, you know. When I save, save it with the full health. That's basically it. So as a bonus, even though I'm going a little overtime with you guys, 
as a bonus, I'm just gonna close the stream with a little bit of. Oh no, but I haven't. I don't have it here. I guess I'm going to have to. Let's see if I'm able to take art, take out the the cart, the Disgaea one, and pop in really quick the Ultra Street Fighter one, so you guys get a chance to see it. Fortunately, it's not a Blu-ray, so that's gonna load up really, really quick. So yeah, this is the bonus game for today, guys. Ultra Street Fighter 3, or also Street Fighter 2, uh, Final Challengers. I wish it was Ultra Street Fighter 3, or something along the lines of Street Fighter 3. I love that. I think that's the favorite one that I have out of all the Street Fighters. Animation, gameplay, everything is freaking amazing. Now, please don't ask me to play Way of the Hado, because that thing is, oh my god, that thing is shitty. I tried it, and no, 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 no. If you want to play motion controls, play ARMS. Do not play this crap, the crap that they put in here as a last minute thing. No. The final challenge, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenge. Now guys, I'm gonna go into arcade really quick. This is just gonna be like a quick playthrough. Uh, normal, everything normal. Of course, I'm gonna play a little bit with my custom can. I got two custom cans. I have the regular can and I have the Vitam can. RCT, this is the hot edge version. And I have the other can. The regular version. There you go. With the purple uh, key. But I'm gonna go with Vitam Ken. Let's go ahead and do this. India! By the way, the D-pad on the con Round pro controller is pretty cool. You go I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of lag on my on my side input lag, but I guess that's the best I can do. It's not the same when you record as when you stream, but it'll be manageable. I got so used to the arcade stick playing uh, Guilty Gear and Tekken that going back to the controller is not easy. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Jamaica. No blondie can here. Round one fight. Oh, not good. Oh my god, I'm taking all of the freaking hits. And he threw me. Go figure. With the maracas and everything. Fucking awesome. Two, fight. You win. 
Yeah, guys, as soon as I die, I will end the stream. Thanks to all of you guys for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, everybody from Anthony, uh, Anthony Ribice, Afro Soul, Bad Luck. You know what? I'm gonna leave it right here because I've already been uh, up to one, one hour and 16 minutes, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass to upload to YouTube. So I'm gonna leave it right here, guys. I'll probably do a separate stream on this playing online, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I think that's going to be it. Thanks a lot so much, guys, for, again, for being here uh, with me with uh, Disgaea and Shantae. I hope you guys uh, like those games because I really do. And I hope if you don't have a Switch, you get one soon because the system is pretty amazing. And hopefully we'll see uh, something more along the lines of new games or new I don't know something new for the system uh, come E3 on Tuesday stay tuned for that guys that's uh it's gonna happen real time on Tuesday around one o'clock because I know it's nine nine uh, central so I think it's Eastern is one o'clock so stay tuned for that if you don't get to see the the E3 presentation, stay tuned for my overview of the whole E3 week on uh, Sunday, which is going to be recorded, it's not going to be a live stream, but then the following week, I'll just go back to the regular schedule, hope you guys are good, thanks a lot, see you guys soon, keep on gaming guys, take care.